Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about doing vibrato without a shoulder rest. So one of the most important things about not using a shoulder rest is the relationship between the head and the left hand. Because um, you will notice that the left hand is holding the violin much more. And in order to prevent the, um, the head and the shoulders locking up and clutching so that you can move, uh, the left hand has a completely different uh, relationship and way of holding the violin. So there are a couple of things that you need to do with your left hand to um, release it because it can feel very locked and not able to move. Um, and one of the first is using your thumb as a pivot. So have your head very, very relaxed, just resting on the chin rest. And just to hold the violin, just to make sure that it's nice and secure and giving your left hand a little bit more freedom while it gets used to this. And then you just put your thumb in its normal place and you learn to slightly move your fingers like this. Many people, when they're playing without a shoulder rest, tend to have a higher thumb uh, than people who don't. So you can have your, um, your thumb anywhere from here to, to here actually and just have your uh, fingers higher like that. It just really depends on the size of your fingers. Um, if you've got small, short, pinky and small fingers then that's not a good position for you because you can't reach the fourth finger without pivoting the whole hand. So the second important movement is to actually move the thumb. This part of the hand is, is crucial as well. Always notice what that's doing. It's sort of um, sometimes sliding and it's sometimes resting. So even if you're not doing shifting yet, this is a movement you can't learn soon enough. It's absolutely fundamental because it relieves the head from holding while you shift. So why is um, technique like that when you're not using a shoulder rest? Well, it's essential to avoid a position like this where you're holding the violin with the back of the shoulder and the shoulder is like that. So you don't want your head and your shoulder to be clutched. It restricts the, the left hand and also causes a lot of pain. And um, the only time that you really need to use your shoulder is very high positions coming back down to stop the, the violin sort of getting away from you, right? It's got to be held, right? So you slightly hold it, mostly with your head, and if you can avoid using your shoulder, marvellous, but most people do, um, who don't use a shoulder rest, they end up using their shoulder like this, right? And that's very restricting. So that's why we need to get the relationship between the head and the, the left hand right. Now your fingers need to learn the rolling action uh, of vibrato as normal, like any, everyone does. It's the same action uh, when, you're, when you're not using a shoulder rest. So by holding the, the violin or putting your violin against the wall, your fingers can learn the rolling action. If you're um, just playing one note, that's fine. You can play just one note in, in first position and the violin's just resting on the collarbone and everything. But violin playing isn't like that. You start to have to move around. You have to start shifting and everything. And that's why these two uh, finger exercises are incredibly important. Start shifting the fingers and then start shifting the thumb. So there's another thing to think about without a shoulder rest. And it's you put your uh, violin on the collarbone and it's whether you have to um, put your head down a lot to get it on the chin rest. I mean, that space there between the chin rest and the space of your jaw, it sort of needs to be filled in somehow because otherwise your head is going to go down 
like that in order to play because if you have a long neck then you've got a space so most people put some sort of pad underneath quite close to the neck just like that you fill in the space so that the head isn't tempted to um, the full weight of the head isn't sort of going right down onto the violin so we're actually learning and starting and improving vibrato is exactly the same as any other violinist who's using a shoulder rest or not using one. Uh, the fingers themselves have to learn to roll and it's best when the violin is supported during that. Um, so just hold the violin, support it and teach your fingers how to roll on the tips like that. And you can, if you want to do arm vibrato, that's fine, just do that until your fingers learn how to do it. Then the supporting hand can go away and you're holding the violin between the left hand and the head. So there's a lot to work out. There's stages of um, getting used to the left hand acting um, in this way. There's a lot more movement in the violin when you play without a shoulder rest. There's thinking about um, tilting the violin a little bit more using a pad um, away from a very flat position. Um, it's more difficult to play. Uh, it's nicer when the violin is tilted. So it takes a while to get the balance right and you've got to be very observant. And if you start getting pain, uh, just go back a few steps and put your bow down and work all this out. It's basically holding the violin between your head, your shoulder, your thumb and your fingers. It's something that you need to develop. It's a very personal thing, how you work out uh, the balance between the head and the left hand. So I hope you get on very well with your experiments and that you develop a really nice vibrato. So I'll say bye-bye for now.